Epidemic spilling over into the suburbs tonight. People are reporting a surge in violence in several towns. People in New Lenox, Cary, and Western Springs all reporting crimes, including one scenario where a 17 year old had a gun pulled on him right in his driveway. Tia Ewing is live with more on these suburban crime sprees. Tia. And you guys just mentioned Western Springs. Police are trying to see if what happened in Western Springs is the same thing that happened in two other suburbs. In two cases, those criminals gained access into vehicles, went inside, got the garage door opener, used this to then get into the garage. And in all three cases, they were spotted in a small black SUV. Looks like they entered our house, grabbed our keys, knocked some stuff over, and then left with my car. Amanda Martin works with sick children as a registered nurse. She bought this red 2018 Jeep Wrangler as a gift for completing nursing school. When she woke up Thursday morning, it was gone. Through videos on Facebook, some of the neighbors have discovered um, what looks like an individual trying to open up their car doors as well. The suspects entered her home through an unlocked back door. This is a picture of one of the suspects at a nearby home. Other ring camera video caught suspects in action doing the same thing in another New Lenox neighborhood. Wednesday, an unincorporated New Lenox here in the 700 block of Lambeth Lane. A 17-year-old boy was in his car when he was carjacked. Joliet police are investigating. There's been six car thefts in the area in the past six months. In, in Illinois, most certainly uh, makes it uh, a, an opportunity, a crime of opportunity for criminals who are thinking that the police aren't going to chase me. 65 miles away in Cary Thursday morning, suspects entered an unlocked vehicle, used the garage door opener to go inside. One of the three males had a gun. Car thefts have occurred, and we've had a uh, similar instance a couple of weeks ago. Amanda Martin hopes someone recognizes her car, but most importantly, she's worried about her safety. The suspects have her information and even used her credit cards. It was a BP in Berwyn and a Walgreens in Lyons, Illinois. And I guess the good news, at least in Amanda's case, is from those purchases, there is video of those suspects. Now, according to Amanda, her Illinois plate, in case you see her car, is E548775. Again, New Lenox police continue their investigation on that case. Live from New Lenox, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 News. Okay, Tia.